if you do this for a living, you're going to spend the rest of your career trying to simulate everybody, everybody else. That's really how you get inside the sound and really get the correct character of the music of what you're playing. So at the beginning, I feel like I'm in the violin section, right? And then trumpet fanfare. And then you're a woodwind player, like it says there. They're playing these like shorter, airy. So I'm playing a little bit lighter, snappier, quicker, a little wrist motion, that's it. And then, of course, showing the architecture of the dynamics at the end, which in Beethoven is really important. You have four bars piano, four bars crescendo, which is rare. He doesn't write crescendo a lot in his music. Two bars piano, the last four bars fortissimo. So you want to show those steps, especially the non-crescendo spots, the steps really clear. And remember, it's the change of pitch that's critical. So like at the very end there, you see I wrote place and I put a wedge on the G and the C. The last C is not accented, you know? And sometimes it's tapered off, especially when it's repeated. But it's never da It's never played like that. It's sol, do, right? Straight through to the end. So I think, again, just kind of hammered into your brain and your hands that the change of pitch is really key. 